and your tablets have had a tough time keeping up with the iPad Pro, but I would argue that hardware hasn't been the issue necessarily, at least over the more recent years, uh, but it's actually been a software limitation. Uh, developers just don't really seem all that interested in supporting Android tablets, but I've actually gone ahead and gathered up some of the apps that I use when I'm using this tablet and some that I discovered as of recently. So these are going to be the best pro apps for the Galaxy Tab S7 that I was able to find. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, firstly, this wasn't necessarily an easy search. I believe that these apps are some pretty good examples of some of the best apps that are available currently on the Tab S7 Play Store. Things like writing apps and editing apps, drawing apps, and photo editors as well. And let's go ahead and begin with one, one of my favorite drawing apps ever, and that is going to be Sketchbook Pro. This app is entirely free and offers a lot of tools at your disposal, which allows you to get pretty detailed with your work. And thanks to the S Pen on the Tava 7, you can really make some nice pieces thanks to its precision. In combination of this app's versatility and the S Pen's prowess, they make a great duo, which makes the Tava 7 a great device for drawing. In my opinion, I've definitely enjoyed drawing quite a lot with it, and I can recommend it to any artist, really. And there are going to be other drawing apps too on the Play Store, but I would consider this one to be the best of them all, in my opinion, at the very least. And now moving on to photo editing. I've actually got two, two applications that were fairly easy, easy to find, of course, since they actually come from a very popular company. They are both going to be from Adobe, and one of them is going to be Photoshop Express. Photoshop Express does require a Creative Cloud license for proper use, and so it's not really a free app, at, at the very least, technically not. However, this app is still a rather simplistic photo editing app that you can get used to fairly quickly in my opinion. It's not going to be the same as Photoshop on desktop or even Photoshop on iPad really. However, this is still going to be a pretty neat app if you just want to make some super uh, quick edits really, like when it comes to the color, if you want to add any kind of filters and things like that. Now this isn't going to be a super professional uh, photo editing app and I wouldn't recommend this app for that kind of workflow. However, I can recommend this uh, to people who maybe really just want to get started. I think that this is a pretty decent solution for just that. However, Adobe Lightroom is, is probably going to be filling in that space for Photoshop Express. This app is going to allow for more uh, precision overall. You can actually make a bunch of more and like fine tuned adjustments to your images and things like that. It's just going to be a more powerful software that is actually closer to the desktop version of Lightroom, but it is still very washed down in, in comparison. It, it's still not the full experience that you would get on desktop. However, it's going to be pretty much the exact same thing on the iPad Pro, so this is pretty much the best that, you're, that you can get on an Android or iOS tablet right now. And with that said, I can strongly recommend Lightroom even though it's not technically a free app either since you do need to pay for the Adobe Suite in order to really be able to access it. So do keep that into consideration. And I've actually got two video editors to, to recommend. And firstly, there is going to be Premiere Rush, which is also part of the Adobe Suite, so it is technically a paid app as well. It can do things like cut up clips, add some filters for color grading, though you can't really get too detailed here either. It's a very simple app. It's just meant to edit pretty simple videos as well, and depending on what types of videos you make, and Premiere Rush might actually be good enough for you, since it even offers some sound tools if you need those. I ended up using it for a little while, but there was actually another app on the Play Store that ended up catching my eye. And this app is actually called Viva Cut. And this one is going to be free and it's actually quite, quite impressive, even though there's one thing about it that is going to bother me. However, they do have paid options, but it is going to be pretty affordable. And like just considering what they offer, like you can end up onto their subscription services if you want to unlock all of their features. However, this as is, is actually a really powerful tool in my opinion. You can cut, do some color work, and most importantly, you can have a myriad of effects that you can use here, which is something that is lacking from, from Premiere Rush, and which means that you can actually get pretty creative with whatever videos you are editing. However, you can only use this app in portrait mode as is, and I don't like that because if I get a keyboard attachment, for instance, it would be very uncomfortable to work with. 
so you will still get some hiccups uh, but on the paid version of the app you can export at up to 4k which is actually pretty cool on a free version you are going to be limited to 720p so so do keep that into consideration and this is going to be a bit of an odd one uh, but i figured that i would mention it anyway i actually use it quite a bit and this is going to be adobe fill and sign and this app is going to allow you to sign documents plain and simple uh, but it lets you quickly take care of business and I just appreciate that quite a bit. However, it seems to be a little bit buggy at the very least on Android, but it is still worth checking out and I can strongly recommend it. The next app is going to be a very underrated one and I think it's worth noting. Keep, or I guess that I should say Google Keep is one of my favorite note-taking apps on Android right now or across all platforms in my opinion. I use it absolutely everywhere and I love that it's here on Android, of course. This app is going to be completely free and it lets you save so many notes. I use this uh, to write out my scripts, but it's not just for typing as you can also write with it using the S Pen if you wanted to. It's actually a pretty good experience and it syncs automatically with your Google account, which is really awesome. I really would recommend this one as I found it to be very effective in the long run. And those are going to be some of the apps that I use for productivity on Android that I would consider to be some of the best out there right now. And if you have any other suggestions or if you feel like I missed any, and then make sure to leave your recommendations in the comments and I'll be making sure to make an updated video as a matter of fact. I would love to hear what you guys have discovered about this tablet that maybe I haven't so far. So do let me know in the comments if anything. And if you're interested in purchasing the Galaxy Tab A7, then I'll be making sure to leave affiliate links down to Amazon in the description. And if you end up using any of my links, I get a small commission that does help me run things just a little bit more smoothly around here, so I would appreciate that quite a bit. And don't forget that I stream on Twitch every Friday and Saturday from 8pm to 10pm Eastern Time. I've been playing a ton of Dark Souls as, as of late and getting my butt kicked. But I am very resilient and I keep coming back to try again. Now come and stop by and watch that then. I would very much appreciate that. Like we can talk tech, talk about anything. And also make sure to follow me on both Twitter and Instagram because those are going to be pretty important too. And with that said, this has been Francisco from Tech Summit. Thank you so much for watching and I will be seeing you all later. Enjoy.